I'm Charles McCrary. Uh, I'm an agent in Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, started in May of 1981. My name is Cheryl Hall McCrary. My husband Charles and I have been married 36 years this August 18th. Of course, most people when you say, well, I was diagnosed with ALS, a lot of people don't even know what that is. You say Lou Gehrig's disease, they do. But from day one, um, my goal was to figure out how to fight this disease from any and all aspects, working outside the box, working within the system. Um, I go to clinic in Houston uh, about four times a year to a expert there that's uh, world renowned in ALS. And there's usually 30 or 40 people in clinic and I've been to there's four different sessions and I've gone three months at a time, four months at a time. So I've been to all of them and seen these people over the years and they're either on uh, Medicaid or using their own funds and going through it fast and um, it's, it's sad to hear some of the stories. And, you know, as an agent, we would always see and hear those kind of stories one or two at a time here and there. But when you go there for a full day and you got 30 or 40 people there, and 25 or 30 of them, you're seeing and hearing those kind of stories. It's really sad that they've not prepared and that they're in the condition medically, but then also financially having that strain and that worry. Charles has assured me that we do not have to worry about that. That we can handle anything that comes our way because he has prepared for that. He prepared for that early on. I decided to take a look at my own situation. It had been a number of years since I'd done so. And I was in pretty good shape from the standpoint of life insurance and certainly from disability I was okay. But I really didn't have any long-term care in place other than uh, the group that we have through John Hancock. And that's only a five-year plan. So I took a look at that and um, upped my life insurance at that point because it was inadequate for what I needed. And then also went ahead and bought uh, additional long-term care through the State Farm Plan with the unlimited uh, benefit. Well, by doing the free planning for myself, uh, and putting the policies in place that would be needy, needed in the event of disability or long-term care needs or even death, um, I don't have any financial worries. I get to focus on just trying to take care of fixing me and um, and just living life each day and enjoying it, you know, one day at a time. I think all of us, including me, uh, are kind of like the painter that doesn't paint his own house. In other words, we. We get busy, we uh, let years go by, and all of a sudden we look around and we've gotten outdated somewhat, or either for a long time, State Farm didn't even sell long-term care, so all we had was uh, group benefit, uh, unless you wanted to go outside and buy it somewhere else. So you know, now that we have these products in place, there's really nothing that we don't have to take care of the needs of ourselves and our clients and most of us if not all can probably afford to take care of those situations and make sure they're covered um, unless we've already waited too long and we are uninsurable. I'm a good example I'm uninsurable and I'm only 57 years old and I've been uninsurable since I was 55 so it can happen to anybody at any time and it does happen to somebody every day every minute somebody's having something go wrong so you don't know who that's going to be, but human nature says it won't be me. I mean, State Farm agents do a great job working with their clients. Um, on our worst day, we're better than probably any of our competitors on their best day. Do we miss talking to people about important things every day? Sure, all of us do, our staffs do. So I hope that we'll just all do a better job of taking the time to have those conversations. And yeah, I mean, I think all agents should either sit down and do it themselves, or if they choose, have their uh, AFE, AFC, another State Farm agent, anybody they wish to, to look over it with them and just make sure that they, uh, they hadn't missed something or that they haven't uh, calculated improperly and really think they have more than uh, they need and don't have enough. And this is an honorable profession where we're helping people take care of problems solve problems and be in a place to uh, make sure that they don't have catastrophic events happen in their lives that uh, wipe them out. And so for ourselves or for our clients, it's just the right thing for us to do and hopefully we take the time and realize that and we um, don't procrastinate it 
to where it might be too late. Uh, Cheryl and I really want to thank uh, all the people that made it possible for us to tell our story. We hope that you will take this in a positive way, uh, that uh, we're in good shape and uh, we're fortunate to be that way. And somebody that's listening to this today may end up in a whole lot worse shape uh, than I am at this point or than I may be. And so I'm just hopeful and uh, prayerful that people will listen to this and realize that uh, the time to do something is before you need it. As State Farm agents, um, you know, we can make a difference in those people's lives that um, have catastrophic illnesses or injuries. And I just pray that everybody will take seriously what we do. So thanks again for allowing us this opportunity and uh, we look forward to this being a happy ending story.